We're in Raceland, Louisiana, here at Simone Chauvin's property. They run a cow-calf operation, and our concern here is erosion. So that critical area of planting is to provide a permanent vegetative cover to reduce that erosion and limit it progressing into the pasture. We have 80 acres total, and we have 60 cows. On the corner of the 40 acres, there's this pump, and when they turn it on full blast, it started to wash away the land. So when I spoke to them about it, they offered to come put in the rock system and the extra dirt and all to fix it to stop the land from eroding. The vegetation's gonna hold the dirt from washing away. And then we'll be able to graze it like twice a year to keep it under control. Some of the benefits of this practice are reduced erosion. The more erosion we have, the less functional our pastures may be or our croplands may be. And that erosion leads to sedimentation of our surface water. So our drains need to be cleaned out sooner. Our ditches don't have the same capacity as they should and therefore increase flooding risk. NRCLs has helped us tremendously. They taught us what to plant, hauled Bermuda and ryegrass. They have come out and did the planning for us. They teach you the new advanced way to make more money. Our main focus here is reduction of the nutrients in the watershed, and then also to reduce the sediment that's entering the watershed. Providing that critical area planting, the use exclusion fence as well, reduces that erosion. I would encourage everybody to speak to someone at NRCS. It can teach you a lot, and this is gonna hold the new dirt in place so that it doesn't wash away and it's working already because we didn't lose anything through the hurricane.